Hey, 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 hey. This is Kurt Vogue Doctor 2024 25 Ultra XT. Beautiful boat. I love, love the way he set all this up. It is so cool. This is the autopilot. I'm going to turn that on. And the lights. I'll show you, like, say, if they work. The stereo's on. You can shut it on or off from here. Then you go over here. That's the waste pump. That's your toilet. No, waste pump sits. Uh, let's see right here. There's that other plug right there. But you got a waste pump pump that's right here that will pump this fish box out. You can turn this to turn the refrigerator on. Make sure you always turn that off when you're not using it. And then hit agree. And then I set that autopilot up. So now we're gonna turn on the heater. That's really easy. Just hit this button, hit it again, and it says starting. Let it start up. Now with this heater, right here, all you do, this doesn't matter where this is at right now. Just push this until you see these lights flash. There, I see them coming on the walls. Now don't touch the thing. See how that's lit? Pretty soon it's gonna, if it stays lit, you don't want to see it blinking, okay? If it's blinking, that means it didn't ignite. So pretty soon you're gonna have a that on in a red solid flame. That's for this. So you can crank that up, but don't interrupt it. Once you start it, let it finish firing up. Once it fires up, shut her down. Don't ever just shut the batteries up when they're running. Same thing with that one there. And ah, well, the wind's coming up now. Got a little storage here. Storage there. <clears throat> Refrigerator. And then of course this pulls out. This here pulls out. There's a cushion right behind this. I think. Yeah, right there. That comes out and fills this area in. <clears throat> And then if you're back here, you can just steer with the wheel here. And then just tap this real quick. There you go. Because if it dims, that means it went to standby. So just hit the power key. You see right here, I got your autopilot here. Numbers, camera, radar overlay. Then you just zoom in here like this. And I want to make sure real quick. And go like that and it brings you right back to where you're at. And that's your heading and I'm right on the money. I've got two lines so if you don't like the course over grounding and the heading line at the same time I can change that. I do that for if you're drifting a little bit you know which way the boat's going. And then of course this goes back and forth which is cool. So as far as I know there wasn't too much wrong with this I'm gonna put this baby back into here and then I'm gonna show you all of these electronics uh, later but you know what I might do now I'm gonna go back to the running of the motors now but what I can do is I can just go ahead the deck deck lights lights wiper wiper then you have window washers right here. There, I'll show you with the wipers. See? Pretty cool. I fill those up with water. And then you got the deck horse. You don't have a bay tank, anchor light, cabin lights, bilge pump, bilge pump front and back. Okay, so now you got your lights. Lights, 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 shut, shut the, oh, deck horse, off, 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 come back here, of course I can steer back here. I tighten that up, they were leaking. 
Then just let it run. Then it's gonna go there. There you go. So that works. And I can steer it out of the way. Okay. Yep, that's getting warm. Yep, that's getting warm. So that heater's working good. Turn the bait torch off, the lights are off. Gosh, she did this right. Just neat and hack. Little drawer there. Uh, let's go. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave these in gear for right now. And how much time do I got? Now I got enough time on this one. So if it's real windy, just so you're under seven miles an hour, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and that sets it automatically or you hit the throttles and it'll bypass that bts so there's something so i'm going to give it a little throttle but i'm going to keep it try to keep it under seven what this does is helps me keep this boat in a straight line and i can steer it while i trim the kicker down and of course if it's cold what you want to do is push in on this handle until that goes like this, there's a detent. Push it about another two inches up. Push and turn the key. But now that it's, I started today, I should be able just to turn the key. Yep, there you go. Now I give it some gas. There. Then I can bring these back. I can shut. What I'm gonna do is just kind of leave those idling for a little bit. I don't have to. I'll shut them off. That gauge is going to go off. Now we're on the kicker motor, right? So now what I can do, a couple ways to do this, is you can just hit engage. Now we're on autopilot right here. Now you can tell right there heading hole five degrees north. Yep, we're spot on. And then I'll show you the toilet where this is on autopilot. See how it says heading hold? You can go to standby. If you want info, you can just go to your tracks. If I want to see the tides and currents, there you go. And this is what I like about Garmin. See how fast they are? They're quick. A lot of the other ones are really slow. And if you double tap, watch out. It's like an old computer way back. So now with these are toolbars. You can go to your, you know, your radio or your autopilot. So if I wanted to go 10 degrees over, I could just go 10. See how it changes it over there? I can go one degree. I can do my throttle as well. See, so what I'm going to do is kick this thing back. Since I'm back here anyway, I can take this, make this bigger. I can hit that on standby, right? Just put that in gear like that. Now I can hit engage again. Now it's engaged, but now what I want to do is add speed. I can do it from right here on any one of those gauges up there. So there you go. Now if I wanted to do a circle, I just go to patterns and I can hit here, engage starboard, and it's gonna do a circle. Sometimes if you want to really help it and be nice, you can just turn the steering wheel on the main just a little bit. But see how we're doing a circle now? And then I'm just gonna let it do a complete and head that way again. See, red? That's what you want to see, but don't touch it, okay? So to get it off, you just push this again until you see the lights flicker. There, it went off, let it do its thing. Pretty soon that's gonna go off, this is gonna stay, and then it's gonna start blinking, go off. Then you can shut your batteries off. So right now here with this wind, I'm gonna just take the steering wheel. Oh, that autopilot don't like that, does it? It like, it's got a mind of its own. Let's see how it wanted to turn but I'm trying to help it a little bit so it doesn't have to work as hard. Now what I can do is go back into here, hit this big again, uh, engage heading hold. And it's gonna just take me straight on now. So now I can get up here. And now what I wanna do is hit 10 over again, a couple times. And then if I wanna go back, I'll just leave this like it is. Now that heater's on, same thing. Just go over here, hit this, hit it again, and it says shutting down. Just let it shut down. So we need to go about another, oh, here. 
while I'm here, I might as well show you this. Okay, say we want to go back here. We want to go right over to here to this screen, make this one bigger, stop panning. I can go up here all the way to the railroad bridge, tap, tap it right, just find a good, there you go. Go here, get this back, you'll see auto guidance. Get auto guidance, start navigating, he'll do that route for you. And he's gonna say engage autopilot. Yep, right there, you hit engage, there you go. And then you got your speed control. This says follow route right here. Your speed control is right here if I want to go faster. Now bring it back up and I can do it that way. So it's taking me on course again. And then I'm gonna help it because I sh you should always start your route. See how it's showing me to go this way so it's gonna bring this boat back. So on your route, you want to almost stop and make a route and then start it. You don't want to be going sideways and hit that because then you just have to, you know, make the little motor work a little harder. But see, here we go. We can just go in here like this. See, now it's going to take us right back on there and then cut back to the right. So that's how you can do a route. That's another nice thing on Garmin. See up there, it's going to get back and it's going to cut on over. Now, what I can do too, is I can meet her to start another video.